oh wow, I'm supposed to go to a marine park today in less than an hour and look what crazy rain is pouring down. Oh jeez, Louis. Guys, so today is the 5th of February, uh, 7.30 a.m. And in 30 minutes, I'm gonna go to a National Marine Park. I booked a tour uh, the other day. And yeah, in 30 minutes, they're supposed to come and pick me up. Uh, it was raining really hard just like 10 minutes ago. So I do all the rain will completely stop by the time they're gonna pick me up and when we gonna be there. Anyway, yeah, that's what planned for today. And I'll see you there. I'm a bit angry since I woke up so early, uh, so for breakfast I'm gonna have this creamy almond filled oriochi. Let's try it out. I have a cat shape on the pancake, but this one didn't turn so well. So the poor cat, I think he got his old face erased. Yeah, it's supposed to be as you see on the package. Anyway, uh, let's check the taste. Itadakimasu! Mmm! You can actually feel the almond pieces. Yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna take this snack with me on my tour. Uh, look at this adorable Vegeta. So cute! Time to leave. Look, there is a butterfly right here. So big. Yeah. Seems like it stopped raining. <laughs> Even the cat got a shower. I got myself two croissants, crackers, and a banana. And here we have some orange juice. Nice crackers, they have some jam inside. So I got my tickets. It costs 300 baht uh, for the entrance to the National Marine Park, but it's not included of the two. And they also give you this wristband. They split you into groups according to your band color. So this is our tour guide. <laughs> Sneaky little ball. Thank you. So this is our boat.
they give us uh, to choose between coconut and apple can. I feel like apple. That's the final level. Okay, here I feel like I should elaborate on my kayak experience. The guide basically rushed everybody on the kayak without informing us or giving us any direction before leaving. 
At first I felt fine, but very soon I saw I could not keep up with the group and no matter how much I try, since the stream and the wind were so strong, they kept pulling me back. Luckily I saw a small island further ahead, so I aimed there and after a lot of effort I managed to get there. Okay, we're near the end, so let's go full speed ahead. So after resting a bit, I try and go back. Yeah, I see my group back there in the horizon, so that's where I should go. Okay, so this is the most challenging, challenging thing I ever did. I think I'm stuck here for like 20 minutes fighting the wind trying to get back. And I'm surprised he didn't look for me, like really responsible from the guide. I, I don't know what he's doing, but if they know it's such a rough road to go, single post and why did they let me go on my kayak alone? This is really like my hand are so from trying to paddle so on and you kind of feel stuck and helpless because there's nobody around. So here as you can see I was quite upset. I was stuck on that kayak for like 20 minutes and it was very hard. Nobody tells you how uh, challenging it is rowing this kayak uh, with those strong stream and wind I felt every distance I make further the wind just come and push me back I think our tour guide had very low guiding skills he barely gave us any information during all the tour I heard other tour guide give detailed information about every island their group member visit in but our tour guide was very short on words and barely gave us two sentences in this situation you should definitely advise someone who is inexperienced in kayak, not going solo, or at least offer someone to accompany him. So after waiting on the kayak for like 30 minutes, they finally come with a speedboat to pick me up. And as I climb up to the boat, the guide was just laughing instead of apologize. I thought it's very rude and unprofessional. I was quite upset after being stuck in the middle of the sea for 30 minutes. Uh, it's quite a stressful situation and I thought his behavior was very inconsiderate to his group members. So this is the last result. What a lot island, and this is the map. This is the hiking trail, but I can't really go because I don't have my shoes. My flip-flop is back on the beach where the kayak is. So yeah, we drove to this beach and now I have no shoes. I would try just a bit, but if it gets too difficult, then I'm gonna go back. view quite impressive yeah so I'm glad I made it and barefoot I wish I could go all the way up but I don't have my flip-flops result of the earlier experience yeah but you know stuff happens and yeah show and I time to start my way back There's a monkey there. <laughs> oh, so cute. There is another small one behind you. I think it's a cub. <laughs> He's still right at you. Now we're gonna go back. 
back to the kayak island to bring back my shoes. So we're gonna save my shoes now. They're probably there around the tree. This juice of coconut pieces inside. I also got this as a souvenir. It cost like 200 baht and yeah, it reminds me of the beginning of the tour when I was really excited and joyful. Maybe I should attach it like a hand girl so I could hang it on the wall. So beautiful the sky out. The dog is waiting for a good opportunity to cross the road. The dogs here are quite smart. Probably want to get to his friends. Okay, let's try here. Something 100. Completely no luck today with restaurants. Maybe I'm just gonna buy something from 7 Eleven. She also said all of the food is spicy and nothing vegan or vegetarian. Okay, I'm just gonna get me something from 7 Eleven. I'm gonna treat myself with some pure detail dessert. Probably roll with fresh cream. And I feel like trying one of those. Maybe this one? It seems like a dragon fruit. Sure what this is. They eat in a coconut milk, so it should be vegan. Okay, and this one, this chips with lemon. Some cool looking ice cream. On the other thing, they have black sticky rice with taro. My bounty for today: uh, cookies, cake, some salt and sour chips, coconut milk, and something I'm not sure. Mangustine and my ice cream that I should eat before she's going to melt. It does taste exactly like sticky rice. Wow. It's like every mango and sticky rice is an ice cream. Mm. I like it. I expected them to be sweet, but they're actually salted and tasty. Crunchy salty bananas. I try this coconut milk with sarim uh, dessert. Let's try it. I thought it's gonna have more of a coconut milk uh, smell to it, but actually it's really soft. What I do smell, it's like uh, those greens. Uh, it's like Israeli dessert uh, that we have that's called knafe. It reminds me of a knafe string. Indeed, it tastes just like a milky knafe. Like if we take a knafe, soak it in the milk and make a little dissolve out of it. I feel like being a bit daring, so I'm gonna take one of those fried bananas and soak it in the coconut milk. Mmm, nom nom nom. Oh, I even caught some of the screens. Okay, let's try. Mmm, really good. Yeah, let's soak a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, coconut cream, those creams and bananas. Time to try our cake. I put it in the fridge so it gets a bit colder and we eat the dakimo. And now for mangustine. Yay, I was really craving some. No, no, no. So it's movie time and the snack that will go along with this is this one. Salt and sour. Mm. By the way, the movie I'm watching is Peter Rabbit. Animation movie. I feel like watching something light and not dramatic after this quite dramatic day. Okay, so this is the snack. 
Okay, saltiness. I'm prepared for you. Mmm, nom nom nom. Not so salty. And you can definitely feel the lime. Great taste. 